Hey man, this is Kyle Frisbee. And someone in the comment section was asking me to talk about Ethiopia. I know they were being sarcastic because I'm a black man. They, they are basically saying that I should be focusing on black people problems. However, the war in Ukraine is everybody's problem. Not just white people or Indian or Chinese. It is black people problem too. So, however, I'm going to speak on Africa. I'm going to speak on Ethiopia. Ethiopia, Africa, basically the same thing, the same issue in Ethiopia is the same issue in everywhere in Africa. All the wars in Africa are started from the same root, the same evil root, and that evil root is NATO. NATO is the cause of all of Africa's problems. So every war in Africa can be linked directly back to NATO trying to hold on on power in Africa. How do they do it? When an African con country government doesn't bow to NATO, the NATO countries start funding rebel groups and those rebel groups start creating a lot of wars in the country. So that's basically what's going on also in, in Ethiopia. So what's going on is that NATO cause problems in Africa, divide and conquer, and then they come in and bribe the both sides and then take all the wealth. That's what NATO has been doing. That's their playbook for hundreds of years. So NATO is the evil that's stirring up all the conflicts everywhere in the world. Whether it be the drug trade, prostitution, or any, anything that is illegal or whatever. Like, the USA is behind it. So, and it's no exception in Africa or in India or in any part of the world. So, however, NATO and the USA influence is drastically reducing because their tactics in Africa isn't working as how they used to work. So their tactics are becoming less effective. Africa is wising up. Africa is linking better and stronger with China and with Russia. So Africa is becoming a more stable, more stabilized, more stronger, more independent continent. And the African countries are basically seeing the, the playbook that NATO and USA have been doing for many years and it's just not working the same way anymore. So NATO influence is falling in Africa, in the Middle East, amongst the Arab countries, in Asia, in everywhere in the world. So NATO is desperate to hold on on power, but no, no matter what they do, they won't hold on on power. Russia is rising above them, China is rising above them, India is rising above them, Iran is coming up, and many other countries are coming up. USA influence is not what it used to be. So the African countries has basically embarrassed NATO, the African countries have defeated NATO, and the African countries have defeated the USA by simple not easily being tricked by them anymore and standing against them and linking up with China and with Russia so they can stand strong against the, 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 the troublesome behavior of NATO and of the USA. 